Hey everyone. One of the rarer breeds that we don't see very often is the Commodore. And Nancy Levis is no stranger to the Commodore and she is going to tell us how to properly examine a Commodore and what the finer points of the breed standard are. Hi, um, this is Betty. And what I'm teaching Tracy is she's going to be judging the breed. So when you approach the breed, if the handler doesn't pull the hair back from the eyes so that the dog knows you're there, say good morning or good afternoon to the handler so that the dog knows you're standing in front of them. We don't want to take this breed by surprise. They can be a little snippy. They are guard dogs. Okay, so now we can see her face from the front. The length of the top skull is two-thirds the length of the head to... Uh, to one-third, or we say, actually, the standard says three-fifths, two-fifths, which this is, and the two-fifths length of muzzle would equal the breadth of the top skull. That's what's in the standard. That's what we look for. Um, she has a nice big black nose. She has dark eyes. Uh, they could be darker. They're medium dark. They're fine. Um, nice big black nose. We do a mouth exam to look for missing teeth. So we look at the front. We look at one side. We look at the other side, and just like in Dobermans and Rottweilers, we open the mouth and we look for the premolars and the molars all the way in the back. I didn't do the whole thing because I'm at a bad angle. Anyway, so now we have this. Find the ear set, <clears throat> the set of the ear. We don't worry much about the length of the ear because there's usually a lot of hair on there and you're, it's going to be hard to find it. Okay, so then you come around to the side of the dog. The hand is over here. You put your right hand on the withers. You put your, find the fore chest. And then you bring your left hand down, find the elbow, and ideally you will find your left hand directly under your right hand. That means that the dog has proper return of upper arm and proper equal length of bones. Follow the dog down to the end of the rib cage. I love finding the end of the rib cage so that you know exactly how long the loin is. This will be two thirds, one third. The longer the rib cage in my world, the better. I like a long rib cage. Down the top line, Beautiful, beautiful length of croup and nice croup angle, set on of tail. You want bone and you want nice good muscling in the rear, moderate angulation, nice steady hocks, you're done. You start at the front, go straight to the back and turn around and walk away so that the dog can't turn around and get you. <laughs> there it is, the Commodore. We'll see you soon.